lots of fun. Propane. Oh, 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 silent. Your Hank and, and Bill impressions are really good. They're really good. <gasps> There's a new case cooking. Okay, all right, we're doing cooking mama. It's cooking mama time. That's right, it's cooking mama time. We got a new case cooking, which means it's time. Hi. Yeah! Oh shit, yes! Here we go, it's cooking mama time. Let's do it, everybody. Bill and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing a vegan quiche. No! Why do the vegan eggs? Why? Why with the vegan eggs? The last time was a disaster. Right, as you can see, I've got some powder. Oh, the same. Oh. And some water. And it does say, I forgot, vegan egg. So, yes. So, I'm going to mix the water in. And, and because it's not very good, the other one's not very good. I'm going to mix it so it makes like a. I'm a merciful eggy god. Shape. Eggy, eggy shit. Eggy thing. Now, it says eight ounces of water. Water. And two ounces of. Egg Look mix. at how chunky it is. I'm going to mix that round until it forms. Well, until it looks like an egg. As you can see, I've got the flour, the marge, and I've been told that's vegan flour. I hope Salt. it would be. I hope it would be vegan flour. How the fuck would it not be vegan flour? What the fuck would you be putting in in flour that wouldn't be vegan? What? What? Bone flour? Yes, yeah, like bone dust? Bones? Cricket flour. Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot about that. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me of cricket yeah. flour. Higher. Lower. Free from plain flour. Right, that's the vegan flour. And now I'm going to put margin. Get in. All right, I'm not going to put margin because it won't go. Oh, it is. It's going in now. So I'm going to make. I'm going to roll roll this. I'm going to make this into. A... Finally, resubbing. Realized I wasn't subbed anymore on Twitch. Thank you for always inspire people, inspiring people to do good work. Smiley face. You're very welcome, Kasky, and thank you. Thank you very much for the sub. Really appreciate that. Ugh, this dear. I'm going to get my fingers in on this one. Well, not on this hand because I've, I've hurt my thumb. So, and then I'm going to roll it out and put it in there and put everything on it and it'll be done. Right, as you can see, it's all come together, and now I'm just um, just rolling it in flour, really. Um, I'm going to roll it out, put it in the flan tin, and make a quiche. Right, we've had a little bit of problem. Oh, thank you, Gynotype. I really appreciate that. I had a lot of fun with it. Um... This is making me anti-hungry. Now I'm hungry. I am very hungry, but I will say this is staving off the hunger. I just I don't even know what to say about this. Yeah, there's like fingerprints. This this could be used to like I'm pretty sure that like if if the fucking if like Scotland Yard or whatever attained this they would be able to print her entire family. Um, uh, you can roll it out. You can do anything you want with it. But when you come yep. to pick it up on the rolling pin, it goes, no, not having it. So, as you see, I've had to slap it in and press it down and put some little design around it. So, here goes, putting stuff in it. Please be cold. That's one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just putting that in. Um, if you want to know what this is, this is broccoli. It's been cooked. I don't know if I was supposed to have cooked it before, but, well, bugger, what, what else? So I'm going to put uh, broccoli, a bit of broccoli, a bit of... Uh... <sighs> I 
I can't even talk. Bockley. Bockley. Broccoli in. Bockley? A bit of uh, uh, cauliflower florets. It's a shame because they should put the green with the cauliflower florets, but I'm not going to argue. Even though I would normally, but... Shit, that was a bit too much. Did you see that? Oh, it was quite a lot, wasn't it? And then I'm going to put some of my Horribilis fruit in. It is. Tomatoes. Oh, I didn't cut them up properly. I've cut, I've, I've Tomatoes. cut these up to the standard of the... Uh, well, anyway, I don't like tomatoes, so it doesn't really matter, does it? So a little bit more tomato on there we are. Come on, down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, there we are. And what I'm going to do is now... <laughs> This is going to be, I'm predicting it right now, this is going to be liquid. Tomatillos. Oh, tomatillos. Oh. Oh. I get it. Egg. I've lost me egg. Where's the egg? Right, now oh, I'm pulling the egg on. It's still chunky! It's you didn't learn thicker, from last right? time, Kay! I did find yeah. it. Well, obviously I found it. Oh, shit, it's going off flaming end. Oh! So we'll it's bring overflowing! It in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. That's oh. it. Bring it in. Kay, no! Now, hopefully, when it's been in oven, or oh, when it's been in oven, Sound like a proper Yorkshire. When it's been in oh it's not toven, in it. When it's been in toven, <laughs> hopefully the egg will have seeped in and it looks like it pudding. Have, uh, and all the everything will come to the top. It's not And that's the end of ah! What is this? This is one of the most putrid in appearance that she's ever made. What the fuck? Okay, listen, Kay has made some disgusting shit, but I think this is right up there with the fucking weird monster chicken bone that looked like a boiled rat. It looks stabbed, but I... Wh what See you soon, your aunt. Thanks for coming by. Just wanted to... Just, just to make sure that we're done. Well, I'm doing the taste test, so I'm going to try it. I've got the pastry, I can't stand pastry. So I'll get a bit of egg. Get up. Very nice. To all my subscribers, that got me 100,000. Thank you very much. Right, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want to leave me a comment, please do. Please, please feel free, the more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know what, someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing. Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye. No, gynotype. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was... Uh oh! Oh my God! We have to go to this. We have to go to this. Wait, wait, wait when is this? Hold on, I have to look at this. When is this date? Whoa. Sunday. Wait a minute. There's no. We can do that. We can do it for the gaming stream. I'm going to the Q and A. We're going to the fucking Q and A. Imps, we're going to the Q&A. We're going to meet a celebrity. Yeah! Sorry, I'm screaming. Whoa! Yeah! We're definitely doing this. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. Okay, we need questions. We need questions. Yeah, yeah, we need to do that. Oh, it's an imp field trip. This is going to be so good.
Yeah, true, true. Yeah, we gotta know our favorite band. Yeah, okay, okay. We need a channel. We need a channel. Gina, can you make a temporary Q&A K's questions channel so that we can take the questions of the imps over to questions for K, K's queries? No, wait, no, we love K. Nomadic Darling, we love K. We, like, K's just a terrible cook. We love K. Her cooking is just bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we love K. We love K. Thank you, Gina. All right, everyone. On the Discord, if you're on it, it will be reopening the Discord as the week goes on. So if you're not on the Discord yet, you'll be able to get on during another stream. But, yeah. Aw, have a great night, Sheep Tar. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea, Nibiru. What happened to Discord? We just had to lock it down temporarily because it was getting swarmed. No mean questions, only nice questions. And funny questions. Of course, I love, I love having, I love it. Wait, I'm not going anywhere, Pondo. Pondo who? Pondo who? I'm not going anywhere. I've always had fun with you imps, of course. Well, wait, is there another, is there more than one episode that we missed? Wait, there is another one. Wait, there's two episodes. We missed two episodes. Oh, yes. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing Aberdeen roll. Now, as you can see, I've got my strong bread flour. I've got some brown, brown sugar. I've got some yeast here. I'm going to put that on that side. And I've got some sea salt here. No, we won't ask about politics. Which We're I'm going to put ask. on that side, away from the... We could ask. We could ask. We could ask, water. like, chill politics questions. Mix the yeast bit in first. our love. Wait for all that to... And then mix the salt bit in. I'm just move my paper away from the table so you can see what I'm doing. We are definitely going to that Q&A. Now that's my dough for my bread. And as you know, I have to let it rise. So I'm going to give it a few minutes, let it rise, and then I'm going to tip it all out. It hasn't risen much, grown Don't much. Don't you supposed to give it like... Whatever. I think she knows, Lefty Queen. Right, so flour on the oh, I'm gonna say on the bread, <laughs> on the aren't rolling pin. To, wait, aren't you supposed to let bread rise for like a while? Look, I don't do bread. I've never made my own bread. Aren't you supposed to let it sit for like a fucking while, like hours usually? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh god. Yes, Lotto. I'll check on that. We'll make a document. Oh, this is gonna be so great. Wait a minute. You know, this is going to be our first... This really is... This really is supposed to be... Um, this really is going to be our first field trip. We've never gone to, like, a, a, a fan thing of the channel. Supposed to proof in place in a warm place. Oh, shit. Just 20 minutes, depending on the yeast. I thought it was only very specific types of yeast. Hmm. Uh, Sam Slees, right now the Discord is closed, but we will be opening it up as the week goes on. So you'll be able to get in. Actually, that link might work. If you want that link, you can take that link. Yeah. Fukami. Fukami. Beef boogadown. I've never had that. Fukami. What I'm meant to do is I'm meant to pull it in half. Put that back at the end and do bits. I'm going to do uh, bread cakes. I'm not actually doing no. bread, even though I did say Aberdeen rolls. Oops. 
Oh, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's just... How long will the server be closed? Wait, nobody is... No, wait. People who are people who are already in the server, it's open. You can just go to the server. If you're already in it, you're fine. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. If you're on the Discord, you can start chatting immediately. It's just we have it. We have the full Discord locked down. Right now, the only channel you can even get into is live stream. That's why. Yeah. So if you're already in, you're good to go. But if not, um, you'll... We'll, we'll, we are manually vetting. It's just really slow. Anyway. There you go. I don't even know why I'm rolling it out because I'm only going to roll it up in a bowl as it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, welcome, good faith. Yeah, we, we've been doing manual Make approvals. It into like a bread cake because that's why it's called Aberdeen Rolls. And that is it. That's what I'm going to put in the oven. And I put them on the tray. I'm only doing two. And then I'm going to put them in the oven and hopefully they'll, well, be bread. That's the end product. And as you can see, I've not. Okay. So I'm just going to say, yeah, I think that was butter. Yeah, I think that was butter. Uh, I, this here looks undercooked, but I will say the exterior does look good. This does look good. I think Kay has done pizza in the past, but this does on the inside. It looks gooey. Yeah, this looks gooey here. It's hard to tell because of the camera quality, but this looks gooey, which is not great. Really ripped them very cleverly off, but I've, I've ripped them slightly mm. off. Right, here's a taste test. Oh, sorry, yeah, the bread. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. The long chew. That was a long chew. I'm just gonna say. Black bread, obviously. Um, <laughs> I have to put some butter on it because I don't like dry bread at the best of times. So yeah, I'd give myself ten out of ten for that. Right about my merch. Uh, the only thing I can say is go to my page, then go press shop and. Hopefully oh, one hundred percent vermin. One hundred percent vermin. It literally one hundred percent. It's not mess. Why it's messing? Anyway, so now let's see if I get. It's right. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a thumbs up, please feel free. If you want to leave me a comment, please do. The more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing. Get everybody subscribing. Did I get that right? True. Yes, I did it. <laughs> See, this is why we love K. This is why we love K. And guess what? We have one more K to do. Yeah, I'll be getting K's cooking merch at some point. Yeah, for sure. Uh-oh. Shit. Meat and potato pie. We're off the vegan arc. We're off the vegan arc. Hi, people. And I'm back cooking No again. more vegan arc. And today I'm going to be making a meat and potato pie. Mm. I'll go check that out. Uh, as you can see, I've got some steak. And what I'm going to do, oh! I'm going to cut it out. Oh! I've got some steak. And what oh! I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it it's out. It's a mutant! So it can go in the pie. Why does it have a film like that? Is this like a placenta? It looks like a placenta. As you can see, I've got the flour and the margin. I'm going to put a pinch of salt in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub it all together. Well, you've seen me do it so many times. There's no point in putting it on camera all the time. But yes, I'm going to rub it all together and I'll show it you when it's all done. Mm. As you can see, I've made it into pastry. So I'm rolling it out now. Yeah. I'm going to make it a bigger one. And hopefully just be able a to pinch put it of salt. Dish. Well, a lid. Well, it's it's a lid because uh, meat and pie, pie don't always have a bottom to it. Right, I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna put some salt in the meat, mm, and mm, then I'm. Mm, oh God! 
Oh, this is giving me nasty shivers. Oh God, everything about it. Oh my God. Boiled steak. I'm gonna add a few gravy. What is this? What are these? That does not look, yeah. I'm sorry. Granules. What are these? That is not salt. Meat. And then I'm gonna add a few gravy granules. Gravy granules? Oops. What is a gravy granule? Maybe a bit too much. And I'm gonna... I think it's fish food. I'm gonna mix it all in. I think I might need to add a few more because the gravy is uh, Ew! not as thick as I would like oh. it to be. Ew! I'm sorry, this is putrid. As you can see, I've made the... It's just... Okay, I can't do this. I... Okay. Oh, it's fucking jelly. You jellied the meat. That is so gross. Oh my god! It looks worse than dog food! Gravy, quite thick and lovely. It did say use gravy granules. But who am I to argue? Yes, I know. Normally the first. So that's the meat and the gravy. I'm going to fetch the potatoes now. As you can see, I'm putting the potatoes oh, on. I'm using on. the same spoon I use for the okay, gravy. Come it doesn't really on. matter, does it? Literally n undercooked, undercooked, giant chunked potatoes. This can't be. Gina! 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 Who, t who kidnapped you? Who kidnapped you, Gina? It's all it's going in the pan, so shit, I'm dropping it all over. I, always, I know it's supposed to take the, the dish to the pan, I know. But anyway, that's not it, that's not how it's going to look. This is just a, this is just a third of a potato. Because there's still some more potatoes in the pan, so what I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I said Maybe someday, Wolfgar. Right now I want to do it. the bad stuff. So I'm going to put some more spud potatoes on it. Then I'm going to put the lid on, then I'm going to show you after I put it in the... Uh, Gina I put sus, it in the Gina sus. Now I'm just going to... Okay, that is not what a pie is supposed to look like. A pie is not supposed to look like that. This looks like a boomer from fucking Left for Dead. Doesn't this look this looks like the belly of a boomer from fucking Yeah, it's tumor it's a tumor pie. Yeah, wait, wait, what do you mean it's a pie? Who what do you mean it's a fucking pie? What do you mean it's a pie? What? I have never seen a pie that looks this bloated and bulging. It's fucking bro it's fucking roiling. It's festering. Cover it with egg oh egg. Oh, shit. With milk. Um I know egg will get that golden brown. But I feel like that really, so I've got milk instead. So I'm gonna just pick cover milk? Wait. I'm sorry, hold on a second here. But you feel like that doing it so I've got milk instead. Wait, wait, so, wait. Let me just Um I know Egg will get that golden brown. But you feel like that I know it, so egg will get you that golden brown, but we're out of eggs, so I just got milk instead. That is not how that works. Yes, you're right. You if you put if you if you paint egg on on the outside, it will create a a thin, crunchy layer. Oh my god! Instead, so I'm gonna just milk pay, cover it and cover the pastry with milk. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven for oh I don't know ten minutes Ew. and then have a look at it. 
Oh, and we'll come see on. how it turns out. And this is the end product of a meat and This is what happens. This is what happens when you try to do alchemy without respecting the law of ex equivalent exchange. This is what you end up with. And then Scar comes in and he goes, ah! and then you, and blood goes everywhere. It's like, ah! and blood comes out all over the place. And potato pie. And I'm just cutting into it now. I'm guessing so, yeah. Turn it round. Ow, you bloody. I mean, yeah, sod. <laughs> There's a human soul in here somewhere, or maybe multiple. <gasps> Sorry, oh! that made you jump. It didn't do much for me. Now that's the crow. <laughs> Wait a minute, get off the knife, all the art. And a bit of spud taters and meat. Oh, it's all fell off. And this is the taste test. Mmm. Grill is very strong. Meat's, meat's nice and tender. And potato, yeah, potatoes are nice, well, thumbs up. Uh, well, as Lee said, it was nice. Um, if you want to get my merch, please click on my Facebook page you know, to shop, or, and then it should come up. I, I don't know what's gone wrong with it, why it's not letting me do it. But let's see if I get this right. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. I know that's definitely right. If you want to leave me a comment, no, thumbs up first. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, please feel free. If you ha if you want to subscribe, and you or you haven't subscribed, no, that's please feel free, isn't it? The more the merrier. Oh, I don't know. You know what it is anyway. Comment, like, subscribe, keep viewing, Just goodbye. Just keep subscribing, <laughs> subscribing, thank you. Bye. Fuck it. Just subscribe, give me shit, like, dislike, whatever, who cares? Oh, yeah, you know what? I will. Don't worry. I'm going to join her. I'll join her channel. Don't you worry. In time. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, there's a meme, isn't it? What are the comments like? They're really good. No, the comments are nice. People love, people love, uh, people love it. Yeah, I'm already subscribed to her. Yeah, I'm already subscribed. I get every single notification. I just somehow miss them because I haven't been on the internet. Like, well, I have been on the internet, but I've been very distracted this weekend. Wow, she's gonna get a YouTube button. She's gonna get a, K, K, K's cooking is gonna get a YouTube button before I do. Raw tripe. Wait a minute. Wait, Gynotype, are you listening right now? Gynotype, are you listening right now? Can we can, I, can you give it? Can we get some McDonald's? I'm really really hungry. I'm starving. My tummy grumbling. Gynotype, I'm hungry. Oh well, I guess I'll have to message. It bothers me a little, all this ewing and poking fun at the. I promise, I promise, I promise. We love K, but this food, if this is what you think is good food, I don't know what to tell you. Let me just, let me just message real quick. Let me just message my partner real quick because I, I really love some food. One second. Oh, 
Oh, let's see. Okay. All right. So how's FMA? Oh, I fucking love that show. Oh, I can't believe I waited so long to watch it. I love it. I fucking love it. Yeah, FMA is so good. Oh, it's so fucking good. I'm about to get to a new chapter. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited. You know what else I've been playing? I've been playing Valheim as well. Valheim is fun. Yeah. FMAB. FMAB. Actually, uh, the, uh, the anime. Yeah, FMAB. Oh, Valheim is really fun. Um, yeah. Did I see Death Note? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen Death Note many times, uh, multiple times. Um, yeah, Valheim is pretty fun. Um, a lot of fun stuff in it. Um, Five Mites at Breddy's. Aren't they making a Five Night at Freddy's burger? Or not burger, movie? Burger. I saw a burger video. I take a chip and I eat it. Bo, 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 bo. No, I haven't. Um, a Valheim server? It is pretty cool. I am super hungry right now. I've never heard of jelly. I mean, I've heard of jelly deals. I've never had them. Do you think you do an actual cooking stream with recipes? Yes. I have already said that I would love to do that in the future. I would love to do a cooking stream. In fact, in the future, once I'm able to, it's a little bit of the distance away, but I plan on cooking things out of the Clara's cookbook cookbook that we got. Clara's cooking cookbook that we got. And I'll cook it and I'll talk and we'll talk about politics while I'm cooking. Am I vegan? No, but I do believe in vegan ethics and I have done my best uh, to uh, pare down my meat consumption. Um, but it's very, very difficult at the moment. But slowly and surely. Yeah. Meme time. All right. There's a meme that I, I must see. Yeah, it's the Nick Cage one. Yeah, there's a Nick Cage one. I don't think it's out yet though, is it? All right. I've been pinged in a meme. I wish all demon mamas a very pleasant e evening. Ooh, thank you. Wait, hold on a second. Let's see. So I've been tagged in a meme. <laughs> oh, okay, Gina. I see. I see. You just wanted to attack me. If I were to summarize demon mama's face in six images. Thanks, Gina. Thank you. Wow. You're not entirely wrong, though. What do I do? I do do this one when I'm like. That's true. This is the one I make probably the most frequently. It's Luigi. Damn, it's Luigi's got it. Got it. Got it going on. I shouldn't be so mean. I can't believe you put Rudy Giuliani in here. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's so mean. I'll show you. I'll show you, Rudy Giuliani. I'm going to squirt fucking goo out my ears soon. F fucking goo. I do love Midna, though. This is a good one. I made the face. See? Hold on. I can make all these. There's that one. There's the... Here's the... Here's the Rudy. There's that one. There's the Grinch. There's Luigi. And there's the this one. Wait, Xander Hall's doing a drunk and get and laugh challenge? Oh god. Craig. Wait, is that Craig? Is that his name? Craig? His name's Craig? What is it? Why is his name Craig? There. Uh, if somebody wants to further put them on there, then go for it. Oh, true, true. Oh, I've had Xander Hall on before. Yeah. We've we've chatted many times. Oh, agreed, Posadas John. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Do you think that I would have such unbased takes as to not like that? Oh, yeah. Have fun with it. Um, oh, there was something I wanted to say. Um, hold on a second here. Listen, I already had, look, I don't drink much alcohol, but I had some alcohol last night. <gasps> oh no. 
Do we have do we have space for one more? Yeah, we do. Fuck it. We're doing one more case cooking. <laughs> I just discovered an old case cooking that we haven't seen yet, and we have to watch it. This is really bad. Are you ready? Are you fucking ready? Get ready. <laughs> cooking again. Ziggy. And today I'm going to be doing a oh god god. A chicken bacon a may mayonnaise bake. But as you can see, I've got some chicken already uh, ripped, ripped, ripped up, uh, cooked. I mean, yes, it's already cooked. Yes, my dog's been pulled for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bacon in certain strips. And no. before I... Ouch, 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 ouch. Fingers are involved in that. I don't know. I don't right, know. And Wendell B. I don't there. know. Now I've always been told that my <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. I see. Hero chef. Get ready, Vermin. Bacon. It's about to get real bad. And I've also been told that my late husband back bacon is the best. So I use back bacon. You can use any bacon you want. It could be your meal, and it could be your choice. Bacon. If you don't like bacon, then you can bacon. use whatever you want. If you don't like chicken, use whatever you want. If you don't like any meat, if you're vegetarian, well, I'm sorry, making this dish is not for you, because it's all meat, most of it. So I'm just going to do... Wait, did she say late husband? One more. Oh no, did her husband die? I can cook, yeah, but I don't do like much. Moment of silence, everyone. That's sad. Oh, it's been released already. Hmm. All right, everyone, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, it's her son. Piece of bait, huh? Don't get bit that. Nah. That's it. One more piece of bait on. We love you, Kay. We love you, Kay. Now I'm going to put some mayo in it. But you torture us. And it's going to make it into a pasta bake. Ouch. That could have been dangerous because that thing's been on. No, there's that last piece of bacon. I'll use that one last bit. Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. You so know it's coming. Nice. The fucking huh? big slab huh? of... She's going to put top. the fucking mayo in and then boil the mayonnaise. Oh, you know it's coming. There's... Oh, no! This bacon is slimy! Oh, my God. Hey, um, I'm just going to wash my hands because I hate the feel of bacon on my fingers. <laughs> Right, so now I'm going to get my spoon out. Or my spatula. No, definitely a spoon. Oops, sorry, I keep camera. Is it hard to focus now? Good. And I'm going to put... And shake the mayo. I can't shake it. It is right now, Rudy, you're right. There you are, I'm gonna mix mix it in. This you know what this looks like? This looks like a fucking video of fucking salmon spawning. There you are. Oh, ouch. Jamie, play that back again. I'm gonna mix mix it in. So it's all till it's all done. Oh, you can't squeeze it with lid down, it doesn't work. Silly girl. Oh god, I 
can't even get up. Neat. Right, do you think that's enough or shall I just put a little bit more in? It's got to have a bit of juice, do not it? What? What are you? More? Oh my god. This is what good pussy sounds like. Whap! <laughs> it's literally... One more good squirt. That should be it. Edges now, that's it. It's starting to take it's all coming together, which it shouldn't do. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, I'm just gonna tell you right now there is no way that this tastes any like tastes good. I'm I'm sorry. I like mayo, but there is no fucking way that this tastes good there is no way that you don't eat this and immediately kill your gallbladder like literally your gallbladder will explode from eating this instantly this is a great way for an immediate hey Lonnie great to see you hi uh this will kill your gallbladder yeah your gallbladder has left chat I know from experience I don't have a gallbladder okay listen I know I can tell you this will blow your gallbladder up uh, then it will just make you really sick. Is mayonnaise even is mayonnaise even real? Thank you, Lux, for the tier three sub. Thank you so very much. That's it. It's all coated in mayo. I couldn't think of what it is. So now I'm going to transfer it into this. This dish. is what Rush is eating. Yeah. To make a uh, chicken and bacon and mayonnaise pasta bake. <laughs> if you only want what a pasta bake. I was saying it slow. Is that Lee were relaying it all back to me? <laughs> like I said, I've got a lot on my mind. So, I do forget things. Right, I think that looks all right. Get. Can you get me a spoon, please? Okay, unironically, this is going to be like if somebody offered to make chicken Alfredo. They were like, hey, you want to come over? I'm going to make some chicken Alfredo. But then they realized that they forgot to buy the Alfred, like the, uh, the, the Alfredo sauce. Um, and then they were just like, well, mayo can't hurt, right? And so you're like, oh shit, I'm ready for some chicken Alfredo. And then you bite in and it's just like all mayo. It's mayo. Just coating every single noodle. Watch. Just watch. I shit that too much, I'm going to end up with bad wrists and bad arms and bad shoulders and what have you got then? So it won't really make yep, it it's all mayo. <laughs> So I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to check it after 10 minutes because like I think, like I said, it's part of checking everything. After 10 minutes, I've lost my little deedly cloth, what I call my deedly cloth, which I use it for cooking all the time. No, that's a different deedly cloth. So anyway, I'm going to put it in the oven, look for my little deedly cloth, and then I'm going to bring it out when it's when I think it's done. Right, as you can see, it's done. Deedly so cloth? now. I'm going to dish it oh out. Oh my god. This is the worst one. This has got to be one of the worst. Look at how much it is just. There is a skin. There is a skin that is formed. Around the edges of the pot. And it is. Wait, watch, watch this. I'm going to go back just a second. I want you to watch when she scoops it out. Look at the fluids. That is pure mayo fluids. Look at it, it's just it bubbling. For me to try. <gasps> and that is your end product. This probably smells putrid. I can't even imagine.
Ali's coming to do it. Where's the wait? She forgot the pasta. No, Lee's coming to do the test test. Dude, come on. Mm. Mo photos taken moments before disaster. Right. Yeah, I didn't cut the bake, you know. I should have cut it the other way as well. Nice mul multitude of flavours. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Alright. Lee's a fucking liar. Either Lee, I, 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 listen, Lee seems very, very wholesome, but there is no way that that was a multitude of flavors. There were three ingredients, chicken, raw bacon, and fucking mayonnaise. There is no mother fucking multitude of flavors. Multitude yeah. of flavors, yeah. It's yeah. just like you coming out with words like that. Nice, nice multitude of flavors, really lovely. Bacon's done good. Um, chicken's fine, everything, everything's done. Too much mayo, we're not. No, 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 not too much at all. I'm very good. Dude. Come on. Very good. Well, I hope I gave you a rough idea on how to do chicken, bacon and mayo pasta bake or something like that. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, very much appreciated. If you want to leave a comment, please put recipes down. It doesn't matter if I've already done them once. I will do them again. You can hear uh, them sort of like making strange noises in the background. There was no pasta. They forgot the pasta. Uh, if you like what you see, please... And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing, get subscribing. Welcome, Let's okay. get the whole world subscribing. Thank you. Bye. She did do a pizza cooking with Jack video. All right, I'm open to this. Let's react. Is this like gonna get me hit though? Let's take a look. What's is this good? Is this good cooking or bad cooking? Is this good cooking or bad cooking? Yeah, great t-shirts. Okay, so this is bad cooking. All right, let's do it. I've never seen this before. Let's see. Let's check it out. I, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Ready. I don't think anything is going to go wrong here. Shrimp and chorizo football finger food. Okay. We are cooking like fiends. That's right, we're going crazy in the kitchen on the Cooking with Jack show. One recipe after another. Guess what's coming soon? That's right, chili soups and stews. So if you got anything special, anything unique, uh, you got a turtle soup recipe, send it my way. You got a killer award-winning chili. I have one already in the, in the email box, but send them on over. Do it through Facebook, do it through Twitter, do it through Google+. Plus. Uh, just send it on over and we'll get try right, to get let's on the find show. Out. Let's give him we'll a look chance. At them all. We'll let's give him a chance. What we think is the best. Okay. Right now, though, we're doing a product review. It's called Bag and Season. Bag and Season Original Chicken. Now, I haven't used a bag and seasoning, a prepackaged thing like this, since I was probably that big. My mom used to do this thing called Shake and Bake. That's right. I think they still have it. And you put it in a bag and you shake it up and then you bake it. Well, that's kind of what Depends this is. Depends on what and you're trying to make, Jay Fro. Uh, review it. It's from McCormick, who does lots of seasoning. So we're going to see if it's any good. And I'm going to put it side by side. So I'm going to do half a chicken in this, and then another half a chicken in my regular gourmet seasoning that I have, uh, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. And we're going to see if there's a difference. I'm not looking to say mine's better than this. That's not why we're doing this. I'm just doing a lazy season with mine on chicken in a pan and then using their bag and seasoning and seeing if it's moister, if it has a, a good flavor. I'll let you know if this is good. Once again, we're not here to knock this. We're here to see if it's good. Oh, uh, look at like these two pouches. Okay, you go. You cut here, and that's the cooking bag up front. See those two cuts? You cut that, then you cut this for the seasoning. All right, so let's open this up carefully. 
pretty nice size bag. I'm gonna place the chicken in there. One piece down there. I find there. it weird that you would. I find it weird that you would cook it in a in a plastic bag. Like the plastic bag is kind of a weird thing. Huh. Sous vide? Sous vide? Sous vide? In a bag? It's called sous vide when you put it in a... Sous vide when you put it in a bag? That's weird. Sous vide. Sous vide. It's good? Well, but don't you usually... It wouldn't, wouldn't it not be a, a, a plastic bag? Don't you use like... Um, don't you normally use like a... Like a fiber bag that doesn't burn or something? Or like a waxed thing? Yeah. Well, whatever. Oh, it is plastic. That's so weird. See, I associate plastic with like, I don't know, like carcinogens dripping into your food or something. One piece in there. And in between the chicken. Move that over. Oh, okay. In between okay. the chicken, I'm going to put some... Fair enough. Some celery in there. Just two pieces of celery? And some carrots. There we go, nice and tight. And then it says just to poke four little holes. So I'm gonna snip four little holes with the scissors. Yep. We're gonna do the best gourmet seasoning over taste. This is Wait. how I normally would do it. Wait, what? How do we? That would be it. What? But what happened? And then I would just throw that in and uh, in the oven. So let me get the oven started. Wait, that's okay, going to be terrible. Hold on a second. And, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's a problem here. Watch this. Okay, first of all, that's really uneven seasoning. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. I can point this out right now. Look, all of the seasoning will be here. The rest of this chicken is going to be flavorless, and you're going to bite here, and it's going to be like a mouthful of fucking salt. Huh, interesting. Yeah, you gotta rub it in. Yeah, you gotta fucking give it a rub. Give it the old rub. That would be it. And then I would just throw that in. True, and, uh, the other side is unseasoned. In the oven. So let me get the oven started. Okay, if you're just doing the chicken in the bag recipe, 350 degrees for 30 minutes, two and a half pounds of chicken that's seasoned with some vegetables. I'm gonna cook a little longer because I'm putting them side by side, so it's gonna take longer to cook. How to grow kidney stones? True. Anytime there's meat involved, you want to just let it sit for a few minutes. This does not look done. Oh, you can't see it because my head's in the way. Hold on. Let me hide my head. Look. That's pink. That's pink chicken. That's fucking pink chicken. That's not even close to done. That's not even fucking close to done. Yeah. What is this? It's called medium rare? Yeah, okay. Have fun with that. I hope you enjoy your medium rare fucking chicken. So Have fun with that. So we're going to sit for about five minutes. I'm going to cut this open. Wow. Okay, I can tell you right now, I haven't even cut it open yet. There's steam coming out. The seasoning, though, is definitely smelling good. Take a look. I have to say, this looks more attractive than that. Yeah, it does, but not by much. This is this is so messy. This is so messy. I don't know, Nibiru, probably. So we will see in a few moments. Okay, so let's cut into the thigh here. Let's see what we got. Oh, you can see see the The fuck? Every... The fuck? See the juice gushing right out? Pull the skin back. Oh! Chicken tartare! Chicken tartare!
what the fuck is going on out here? What the fuck is all that banging? Is my house getting attacked by like a fucking battering ram or something? It's the feds? Anyway, wow, chicken tartare, that's purple. Could be. It's probably fawn. I think fawn. I think I think fawn and uh, and and uh, gynotype are working on something right now. You can probably see everything shaking. Let me show you. I'm not getting swatted. See how moist that is. The juice is running, right? Cut a piece of that right off. Leave that right there. Now it's cut into this. We'll pull the skin back. Cut right into this. <gasps> look how juicy it is. Look at the pool. Oh, look at that. Dude. No, he has to know this. He has to know this. This has to be... Wait. This is a joke, right? Like, no way. There's no way. This is disgusting. This wouldn't even taste good. That. That's great. This did a great job. No, it... No. No. No, that is not great. No, everyone, no, that is not correct. That's a lot of juice. Didn't cook well right there, so I'm not going to eat that. See how that is? That's when you cut in and you test your meat. Shouldn't be red like that. This is okay to try, though, so I'm going to try this piece here. <gasps> now, I want to give you a cooking tip. It's really simple. If there's a spot of red in your chicken, when you cut into it, literally one minute in the microwave, boof, just pops it right out. It'll cook it the rest of the way. It won't dry it out. That's a good tip. I promise you it'll work. And don't pay. No. No. Panic. It's not a big deal, okay? All right, so let's try this one first. I'm going to try the McCormick one, which is dripping like crazy. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Moist. Very good. Very good. All right, I'm going to try the celery real quick. Mm, perfect. I'm going to try the carrot. That is, wow. now keep in mind, all of these vegetables have not been cooked long enough. They are stewing in undercooked chicken juice. This guy's 100% gonna get Perfect. sick. Perfect, nice and sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna try mine. Mine has a big puddle. It's not dripping. A lot of moisture though still. But I think the McCormick bag held a lot of that moisture in. It's really cool. He didn't cook it in the mm. bag. He didn't cook that one in this the bag. That was the one that he didn't cook. All right, here we go. In the bag. What What does he mean the bag held it Sorry. in? He didn't cook that one in the bag. Mm. He's getting salmonella for sure. I'm going to watch Sorry, another episode of this for sure. The bag is a little sweeter. This is wild. Weird. Don't know why. And the carrot outside the bag? Hmm. Hmm. The center is a little firmer, but it's still enjoyable and perfectly cooked. Hmm. Nice job. Listeria? Huh? All right. Probably right. Last test. I'm going to take a piece of the skin because that's where most of the flavoring is. If you don't like the skin, take it off and then season your meat so it'll get into the meat. All right, that's you good. can hear how chewy it is. Oh my god, that's disgusting. This is a major success. The McCormick, uh, what is it, the chicken season bag? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Get one of those. I think it was like a dollar, a dollar and change. But wow, a lot of flavor, a lot of moisture. Throw veggies in there. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. I got to see more of this guy. There's got to be more. This guy's got to have more stuff. Holy shit. 
jicama french fries keto friendly youtuber dies <gasps> oh no he did sous vide salmon Gamers Game Wall Street? What? What the fuck? Sous vide. Okay, sous vide. I didn't know that. One million dollar meatballs? Oh no, that looks horrible. Oh, good. Okay, he didn't make them. Oh, I thought he was going to do this one. Oh, my God. No. All right. We got to do this. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch the Dolly Parton five-layer dinner. Hey, guys. We're going to give him his newest one. What's going on? You guys ready? This is a recipe that on Good Morning America, it didn't happen recently, okay? But Dolly Parton, this is one of her go-to recipes, all right? So I thought, hmm, Dolly Parton, I like her. A five layer, I looked at all the ingredients, I like them all. So um, come on in close and I'll show you how this works. I think this, this is an air fryer, isn't it? With everybody and it should be absolutely delicious, all right? You guys ready? Come on in. Oh my all right. The audio right, balance, so holy shit. Simple ingredients right here. Got my big pressure cooker taken uh, out from behind me. It's wow, that just destroyed now. my own ears. This is, Considered an instant pot recipe, but I'm using the Ninja Foodie, whatever pressure cooker. Some Ninja of you have the Foodie? Power XL. My ears are some fucking dead too. Some of you have too. old fashioned stuff, um, some older pressure cookers. This is going to work in any pressure cooker. All right. So Me too. We go. You got two russet potatoes. You got ground beef. Oh man, look at how sad looking that pepper. <gasps> that pepper dude, is dude, come on. Just get a new green pepper. They're 50 cents. The eggplant thing? Oh shit. Oh shit. Your mom is shopping at the same store as Jack. What? Why? That is pathetic. On our fridge. I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, you got a bell pepper. You got You're producing a video. Just run to the store and buy another one. Uh, oh, it's from infomercials? Of onion rings or onions. You separate all the rings right here. You got stewed tomatoes, you got salt and pepper, you got a little olive oil. That's pretty much it. You could do this in a slow cooker, but it's only going to take me 40 minutes in my pressure cooker. All right, guys, first thing you're going to do is grab yourself a skillet and brown your ground beef, all right? Uh oh. So we'll go take care of that right now and then come on back. We got all our other ingredients ready bell peppers, potatoes, onions, and then our stewed tomatoes. So. I bet you're right. It seem like Cyborg. I'm out of breath. It's because I am. I'm running around the kitchen. I got company coming over in like an hour, and this has to cook for 40 minutes, and I got them eating this. I'm not having this for dinner, but my company is. Okay. No! He's serving them fucking food that he's not even going to eat himself, and he's trying to rush it. Dude, what the fuck? This guy is evil. This is no K. This is no K. K would never. Avoid eating her own food. This guy is a villain. We found the evil version. He's the evil bad cook. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay our potatoes along the bottom. Yay, fun. I hope you so told your mom I said I love her. Put them all laid out. Nega K. It's called pot in pot. If he's on, if this guy is on keto, this will ruin his keto. Oh, right. He would. Oh, I see. I see. I see. He is on keto. That's not good. Y'all be fucking careful with keto. That shit will fuck you up. I lost a lot of weight on keto and then I fucking destroyed my gallbladder. Be careful. Be fucking careful. So you take a oven safe pot. I'm using a seriously pan. Fad diets are so bad. So now you take the beef and you cover it over the potatoes. My hands are washed, so I just kind of spread the meat around. 
make sure it's a nice thin layer. All right. Then you take the yeah, onion keto ain't rings good. that are uncooked. I will be the death of logic and reason. I will rise up and I will kill logic. Once again, make sure your hands are washed because it's going to get a little messy. Take the onions. So what's he? Wait, over. here's what I don't understand. Why is he only using one hand here? Why is he only using one hand? I'm actually kind of confused. Because he's not holding the camera. But the lid is automatic. Why would he need... He's spreading the meat around. Oh, I get it. I get it. I see. I see what you're talking about. Dude! Oh, you just wiped it on your shirt, man! A little onion powder. Wanted, wanted to season the meat, but it browned so fast I forgot my seasoning. He forgot to see. Mm. The meat. Wait a minute! He's serving that rotten fucking thing! That. Wait! He's fucking serving that rotten, disgusting thing to his guests! I forgot about the rotten thing, and that's going to the guests' mouths! Dude, what an asshole. And guess what? They're going to see this video. They're going to see this fucking video and know that he fucking stuffed a rotten ass pepper in there. I'll just apply it here. Garlic and onion powder. That's so gross. There we and go. bam, no, it is not. Please. Take peppers and put them on top. Once again, take your hand and... Oops, Ooh, that sounds around. great, Rivers. I haven't been to Dixon forever, so I don't even know. Anywhere. There we go. A little messy looking. Wish I had a bigger cake pan, but it's supposed to be lifted up. And then the last but not least are your stewed tomatoes. That's going to take me a bit, so let's grab them by hand. Oh, is it because he broke his hand? Is that why he's only using one hand? Did he break his hand? Is that what happened? There we go. Dude. Perfect. Looking good. Okay, then you take your water, pour it along the side so it reaches the bottom of the instant pot and not... This is his personal water bottle he was just drinking out of. Potato pancakes? I didn't see that, Morg Porg. Should I watch it? Pan. This is, should have been done first, so I'll have, we'll have it in the instructions. Yep, the I only thing is the onion powder. It's going to be disgusting. <sighs> well, that's going to be difficult. I've already loaded it in. Okay, guys, I want to thank Jack Jr. for helping me wrap this. He is such a such an angel. So you want to make sure it's wrapped in foil. You got the water down below. I've got this on a silicone lift. You usually put chickens on top of it to roast them, but uh, we're not doing that today. Time to grab your pressure cooker lid. Put it on. Close it up. What? The lid's right there. The lid's right there. Wait. The lid's right there. What? What? Huh? You're going to cook this uh, on high pressure for 40 minutes. Am I being punked? Am I getting punked? Money towards the Demon Mama IRL cooking stream. Also, onion powder is the only good thing in this dish that might taste slightly good. Thank you, pickle and croissant. Really appreciate that. Oh, I, I missed this one. I got to read this one off. Did you see Penguin Zero m what make potato pancakes yesterday? I almost cried. Thank you both so much. That's not the lid. Oh, they have, there's different lids? Yeah, he voted for Trump. Yeah. And some of you That's may have a, a good question, setting, Danny, and I don't know the answer. Manual setting for 40 minutes. And then make sure your valve's on seal. Oh my God, that is a done. great observation, but I wish I hadn't noticed that. Dude's got open sores on his hands and is cooking with no gloves for his guests. Okay. Good so point, let's Vermin. let's start this thing right now. All right, guys, we're going to open the valve now. Remember, don't burn yourself. 
the pressure out. We just opened up pressure cooker, let all the pressure out, took the lid off, and this smells absolutely amazing. This steam there, coming out. There's no way that. So much... There's no way it smells amazing. There's nothing in it. It's just raw vegetables. You know what it smells like? It smells like the woods. So if you like, the, if if you salivate at the smell of like loam and vegetation, there you have it. But there's no way that, that, that just a little bit of onion powder smells good flavor and the wood smells you don't eat the woods though spam the honestly aroma. would add something this is filling my kitchen right now oh yeah the rotten pepper will probably make it smell putrid Whew. okay I, I, that's true j fro that's true that's cool a little bit i know what what kind of dark wood player am i if i don't eat wood i lied i'm just gonna keep attacking with my fork so you can see how awesome this looks. Look at that. Onions and meat and oh my gosh. Looks so good. Potatoes are at the bottom. Beautiful. Five layers of flavor right there. All right, I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit. Okay, thought you'd wanna see me scoop this out. Look at that deliciousness. A little bit in a bowl. Give that a try. That is gorgeous. What are you doing in this swamp? Beautiful. Okay, guys, just want to let you know. Still on my eating plan. Still going great. Profiled by Sanford. Loving these guys. They're teaching me a lot. Uh, dropped, what, 14, 15 pounds already. So it's just a continuous battle. And in the meantime... I get to eat lots of vegetables and lots of meat, and it's all good in here. I'm just going to stay away from the potatoes that are in this dish, leave that for my company. I got a whole container full of Dolly Parton's five-layer, it's like a casserole, but uh, you can do it in a slow cooker, or you can do it in your pressure cooker, all right? Let's give this a try. Oh my God, what if he hurt his hand because he was at the Capitol? I got to tell you, that's definitely a go-to recipe, all right? Uh, I love you. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, all right? And in the meantime, I'll start working on my next video, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. He has the nastiest video ever. Oh, my God. Let's watch his nastiest video. Let's do it. Oh, my God. I'm just loving this. This is so much fun. I'm sorry. I hope I hope you all are having fun. I'm having a fun I'm having a really good time, personally. His intro is too fucking loud. Ah. That's right, another video geeked on coffee. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Watch this. I'm going to reveal something that will show you this is going to go bad. <gasps> Vermin. That's a great idea. Vermin. 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 Oh my God, that's a great idea. I could do redo Kay's cooking episodes myself with her recipes and try to make them myself and then feed it. <laughs> Yes, we are totally doing that in the future. Okay, we are totally doing that in the future. How the fuck am I ever gonna do that though? I would need to get I would need to get a streaming laptop to do cooking streams. That'll have to be in the distant in the future. Actually, no, there is a way I could do it. It would just be a huge deal. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to make it happen. We're going to fucking make it happen. Don't you worry. Oh, phone streaming. <gasps> True. Phone streaming. That's a good idea. I'm putting that on the idea document. Give me a second. I got to put this on the idea document. Give me a second here. Got to put it on the ideas document. Hold on a second. Oh my God.
Oh my god, that'd be so good. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Open up, Fawn. Why do I look like Toby Maguire? Why do I look like... Are you thinking of that face? Yeah, Fawn's gonna be like, Mama, please get the fuck away from me. I'll be like, nope. Eat it. <laughs> Fawn doesn't even know what's coming for her because I can hear her chatting out there. She doesn't have her headphones on. <laughs> Believable. Look, it's my Disneyland cup, too. Good old goof. Oh, hey. By the way, did oh, that... Oh, yeah. I was going to show you this. Watch. See this? See right down there? See this? This right here? Right here is how you know this is going to be a disaster. This giant brown bucket of country crock fucking margarine is going to show you this is going to be a disaster. I can tell you right now. That's all you need to see. Sponsor check from Disney ever arrive? No? They haven't sent their check yet? Oh. Sorry about that. There we go. It's just a coffee cup. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, let's go to fan mail first, or emails. I don't really like to call it fan mail because I don't feel like I have fans. I just have viewers. I got this from... <laughs> Grandma said it was butter. Yeah. Everybody, everyone and their fucking mo uh, and their mom ate cr country crock margarine at their grandma's house. Uh, Stavros, who goes by Staff. Uh, and it says... It's simple that here in Germany, we do not have a, uh, what is some of the products that I'm showing on my show. For example, there is no marshmallow paste. You guys remember the fruit dip with the marshmallow mix? Uh, they don't have that in Germany. We also do not have garlic chopped in bottled water. There are, listen, country crock, it has a few applications. Country crock is very, very good on toast. That's it. There you go. On toast. Just let you know. Uh, this they're talking. He's talking about this. That's, that's uh, what also, it's for. What it's just for here? toast. Oh yeah. Another funny thing yeah. is it is good on toast. I will say uh, that our much. portion yeah. sizes are different. So when I'm saying put in a glop of this in Germany, they're like their glop is like this, but American glop is like that. So uh, my portions are wrong. So I'm gonna try and be more specific in my measurements so that you can convert the cups or the teaspoons and tablespoons to whatever you use in Germany or any of your other countries. Rivers, Rivers, I can do you one better. Watch this. Hold on one second, Rivers. Watch this. I'll show you. Watch this. I'll do one better for you, Rivers. You hold right there. Hold on a second. Take a look. Take a look, Rivers. Look what I got. I have the cookbook for depression cooking. I have the cookbook. No, Rivers. No way. What the fuck? I'm so nice. I'm not mean. I'm less mean than people think I am. I'm only mean to like really, really like asshole Nazis and shit. That's about it. Yeah. That, that might be out there watching. Oh, we're making the poor man's meal. One hundo. One hundo. I told you I'm going to make that shit. Yeah, I'm not very mean. I'm only, the only person I'm kind of mean at is like, uh, again, Nazis and stuff. That's about it. Depression cookbook. Depression cooking. Look, it's called this. I'll read it. Clara's Kitchen. Clara Canusiari. Everybody's favorite YouTube grandmother with her grandson, Christopher Canusiari. Wisdom, memories, and recipes from the Great Depression. We love Clara. We love Clara on this channel. We've watched Clara all the time. We'll do Clara, we'll do a Clara episode after this. Yeah, we'll do a Clara episode after this to catch everybody up because we love Clara. We fucking love Clara. We always do one Clara to like seal the deal. Anyway, let's do, let's finish this guy's uh, abomination, whatever it is. Okay. Let's get on with the show. We're going to be doing a set. It's called Salad Night. And the, what we do on Salad Night is for those hot summer nights, everybody's starting to complain about the temperatures right now. So we're going to teach you a dinner that you can prepare the night before, break it out, serve it. It's cold. Everybody loves it. It's delicious. And leftovers are amazing. There's plenty of leftovers. I do not like what I'm seeing here. I do not like this. I don't like this at all. 
I don't like this. This is an ominous vision. Uh, like, this is an ominous portent right here. It's called Salad Night, and we're going to get started on that right now. We're going to show you on the show today three different salads. I don't like this. I don't like this. Nope. I don't like this at all. One is called a tomato salad. One is your macaroni salad. And one is a bean salad. So let's start with bean salad. A, a, a bean salad is not baked beans. A bean salad oh. first. Okay, so here's the tip. A bean salad is, is, is like many different types of beans with other things. If you notice here on the can, I have cut it and it's sinking in a little bit. See the can, see the lid? There you go. This is what I'm gonna use to drain all this juice that's in here. You don't want the juice, once again, do not keep the juice. You're gonna drain that out and leave the beans in there. So I've gotten rid of the lid now. I drained all the juice. And then you can see right here, look at that. There's that bad boy. Do you know what that is? I'm gonna tell you what that is. That is the fat from pork and beans. I'm sorry, excuse me. That's what they're calling pork. It's a little square of fat and that's it. In this whole can, this is somehow gonna add flavor. I have no idea, but here we go. Ready? Launch, gone. All right, now. Time to move on. What? Take the beans, dump them in the bowl. Okay, now I'm cutting a large onion. I'm not gonna use, but maybe, I'm gonna say one fourth of it. So let's get rid of the rest. Oh, thank God, okay. There you go. All right, at least he knows his limits. At least he knows his limits and uses a fucking slap chop. I know, the mayo. At least use a slap chop. Thank God. That looks pretty good. Nice. Okay, I lied. That's all I need. So, correction, it's one eighth. We're gonna do one eighth of the onion. So just take take those onions, put them Brown right in there onion. in the mix. Yeah, I slap chop is valid. Tablespoons. What I'm saying is like, if, if listen, there's nothing wrong with using a slap chop, but if you're gonna do a video and you know that you can't dice onions properly, then get a slap chop and just do the slap chop. You're gonna do, you're gonna start with two. Two heaping tablespoons. And you're gonna mix it in. No, I don't hate the slap chop. Well, I don't hate the slap chop. I'm just saying, what will you do when I become a five million sub boomer? I don't think that will ever happen. But if it happens, I can tell you, you guys will be having a great ass time because I'm gonna fucking do some good ass shit. If I ever become a five million sub Andy, I'm gonna do the best content you've ever fucking seen in your life. You kidding me? You know what I'll do? Look at what I'm doing when I'm like a fucking 6,000 sub Andy. Watch what I'm gonna have when I have that many, you'll see. And you're gonna take a look at it and see. So take a look at that. That's your bean salad. Very <gasps> thick consistency. That is a, that's disgusting. It will even thicken more in the refrigerator. So we No, got you're gonna thicken it more? Not at all mixed. The only thing we need is a little bit of tang to this. You've got the chopped onions. You got the beans, mayonnaise, and then you're gonna put in two capfuls. Okay, everybody, let me tell you something, okay? Ready? Let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Eggs and acids have to be mixed very carefully, okay? Eggs and acids. Acids cook eggs. Vinegar is an acid, okay? So if you put vinegar into mayonnaise, it is going to be curdling the mayonnaise, okay? Especially if you are putting the mayonnaise in, you're putting vinegar into the mayonnaise and then letting it sit for a long fucking time. It might be basic. Sorry, I might be getting it mixed up in the direction. But it doesn't matter. It will curdle it. It will fucking curdle that shit. Yeah, I thought it was acidic because it cooks eggs. And eggs are cooked by acids. Most mayo already has lemon juice. Yes, but it has a... No, it does make a difference. It does make a difference. It does, does, it does. I promise you. It makes a difference. Because while, yes, mayo has some acids in it, it's a very carefully chosen amount to make it into a paste that you can spread if you leave a fuckload of acid in a, a egg-based dish it is going to curdle the mayonnaise it's going to fucking curdle it 
I'm telling you. And it's not just mayonnaise. It's any egg things. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We'll have to watch this after. Oh, my God. This is going to be good. We'll get some politics out of this afterwards. White vinegar. Don't worry if you spill over a little bit. Two capitals. One. Two. That's going to put a little tang in there. Okay? And you're going to mix that. Mix it thoroughly. Sam Slees. The rules are you get to be less edgy than me. That's the rules. And be cool uh, and respect the mods. That's basically what it is. Don't say slurs. And uh, that's about it. There you go. And then when you're done... On the Discord, the rules are all there in full, but we don't have pop that right these chat ones yet. Like that, that lid right on there. And you're going to throw that in the refrigerator, and we'll break that out later on. But it's going to solidify, and it's going to be great. Alton this Brown is something is the you can worst. make the night before and just pull it out the yeah. day of. Like, so he didn't even bother. Style. He didn't even bother. Yeah, no echoes. No echoes. Don't do that one. Yeah, don't do the echoes. We don't do that. Uh, that's salad number one. Salad number two, we're moving on. Oh, because we like, because people like Even cooking. Even easier than salad number one. All right, it's going to be tomatoes, olive oil, oregano, salt and pepper, and water. It's so refreshing. It's so delicious. The only thing is I can't remember. I have to check with my mom because I can't even remember how much oil I'm supposed to use. So let's, let's give her a call. Shh, don't talk. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, what's up? Uh, quick question. How much oil and how much water do I use in the tomato salad? Oh, that's right. You don't have any measurements. No, and people in Germany are complaining. We got to have measurements. I know, I know. Okay, okay. Do this. Is it a 50 50? Uh, no, it's more water than oil. 60 or uh, 70 30? I don't know. Let me tell you what to do. Okay, okay. Get everything together, your salt, pepper, you know, put it all in a bowl. Right. And, and, and then add some oil and add some water. Pay attention to what you're doing. Add like a quarter of a cup of oil, a half a cup of water. See what happens. Quarter yeah. cup of oil, half a cup of water. Okay. Huh? All right, that sounds good. Yeah, you know, and see what it looks like. Okay. All right, now. And then if it <laughs> True, look Jessica like Metal. Enough oil, uh, and a quarter of a cup of oil. Got it. Got, I got it. Okay. Now, do you mind if I put this part of us talking on the video? Yeah, I don't want to be on the video. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. All right, yeah. I won't put it in the video. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what a what a fucking dick, dude. Fuck you. Holy shit, fuck you. That is so dickish. That is unironically, that is like straight up like, okay, that is a good sign that somebody is actually a piece of shit. If they intentionally go out of their way to just diso to like fuck you over on small things like this that have no, no, no impact otherwise, except for your own privacy, it, it, it is a very good indicator that they are just like that on other things. Holy shit, what a piece of shit. I love doing that to her. First thing we're gonna do is cut the tomatoes. See, the see? Oh, I love doing this to her. I love disobeying the, the thing after I, uh, disobeying what she asked me to do after I just asked her a favor and she helped me. What a piece of shit. Quarter cup of oil. I hate this guy now. Okay. This guy's definitely the cooking in. villain. All over the tomatoes. And then just fill it up again, completely to the top. And that is your cup of water. Take your seasoning. And you're going to just shake that, shake that right in there. You got a fucking. I would say about a teaspoon or two, probably two teaspoons. And then, this is all by hand, just salt it. And pepper. I could mix this up with this spoon. True. But I'm not going to. True. I'm going to do it the guy okay way. okay to teach him a we lesson. I all know what the guy way is. That's right. The guy way Jacking puts the it? lid on it. Probably makes a mess this way, but the guy way just shakes it up. Let's get that right next to the bean salad in the refrigerator. That was salad number two, tomato salad. It's time to move on to macaroni. <laughs> it's a real he him moment. Damn, that's a real he him moment right there. True. 
Yeah, yeah, the, the old guy way. Gotta shake it up. <clears throat> Here, we're gonna shake this up the guy way. <clears throat> right after fucking bitch slapping your mom for no reason. Ha <laughs> mom, fuck you, mom. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, let's do this the guy way. Ha <laughs> ha, South Park, lol. Salad. You want to buy the salad macaroni, and the salad macaroni is like little tiny barrels. They kind of here. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay. If you can't get this, go with the elbow macaroni. Now the macaroni is in the water. It's Mommy! boiling. It's cooking. We're gonna cook that up. I'm only using one pound. A one pound package of macaroni, and for a one pound pa uh, <laughs> try that again. For a one pound package of macaroni, you're only gonna need about a fourth of this tomato. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna have to take your time. I want small pieces, okay? Macaroni's Use cooked. Use the slap chopper. I just got done straining the water. You're gonna add the tomatoes right in there. Always start with two heaping tablespoons. You can oh, of mayonnaise. oh no. Heaping as in that. That's heaping, okay? Two heaping glorps. There we go. And then what you do is you mix it in and see if it's enough. So as you can see, there's some areas that still aren't coated very well. So you go with one more. No! One more okay, Tip. just uh, let me teach you something else, okay? Watch this, ready? Okay, see how he just put that spoon back into the mayonnaise? That spoon is covered in, t in tomato juice. That spoon is covered in fucking tomato juice. He just put tomato juice into the, into the fucking giant tub of mayo, which he's going to try and use in the future. Not only, yeah, not only will the mayo now fucking mold, but also it's an acid. The fucking citric acid in the tomato is going to fucking curdle the entire jar. This is so bad. This is so bad. I'm going to lose my mind. Tablespoon. Looks like three is going to be See, a magic K number. Is, K's cooking makes me grossed out, but this guy makes me angry. Angry. Three heaping tablespoons to the one pound of macaroni. For every spoonful of mayonnaise, you do a cap full of vinegar. Top it off with salt, pepper. This is nothing. Slower, so you gotta do it a There's no longer. seasoning in this. A moment it's just it mayo pasta. So we're just gonna pop a lid on that one too. Yeah, put this it with is the other Russian Hell Chef. Let it chill Absolutely. a little bit, and we'll take a look. It's time to taste these bad boys. That's what time it is. Oh, did my mouth just water? I think it did. All right, now I'm gonna try and do this professionally. Not gonna zoom in like on the pizza video, I promise. He just squirted water into the food that he's gonna serve to his guests. But I gotta taste three and we gotta close up out of here. So let's try this, here we go. He just, mm. he just put the spoon he just used back in. Wait, he just put it back in. Wait, look, watch, watch, fucker. This guy is a fucking piece of shit. How you know you're dealing with a fucking narcissistic piece of shit? This professionally. Not gonna Sorry. zoom in like on the pizza video. Sorry I to judge. I know but, not to be all parasocial with a random YouTube guy, but what I the fuck? I got taste three, and we got to close up out of here. Watch. So let's try this. Here we go. Ow. Right back in mm. his fucking nasty fucking spit. Oh, this bastard. Okay. Macaroni salad, delicious. All right, let's try the marinated tomatoes. See how those are. Wait. Mm. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Almost lost it. Okay. Just enough oil just to coat the tomatoes. Not too much oil. The oregano sits right on your tongue. It's absolutely delicious. Mmm. You know what? The, on the chopped onions in there soften just enough. There's a little bit of a crunch. What? It's absolutely delicious. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Wait. Wait. Could you see that? Could you see it just dripping? That is that is mayo soup. That is mayo soup. What he is eating is just liquid, like just. Mmm. Mmm, mayo soup. Mayo mm. and baked bean soup. You know what? The on the chopped onions in there soften just enough. There's a little bit of a crunch. It's beautiful. This is three of about seven different salads you can make. These are my recipes. Enjoy. Keep the emails coming. That is not a recipe. Listen, putting four like fucking random basic ingredients into a into a fucking oh my god, should I look at his Twitter? But first, I've been told he has some takes about gay people. Apparently, this guy has some takes about gay people. 
Okay, so let's just get into it. Um, is gay, is being gay or just gay as in general a lifestyle? They call it a lifestyle. Do you consider gay being a lifestyle? No. Because a lifestyle is a choice. It's a way in which you choose to live. I don't think straight is a lifestyle either, obviously. I never chose to be straight. I just am straight. So I think lifestyles are things that you choose or you're going along your life and all of a sudden you decide to, uh, to live a healthier lifestyle, right? So you pick, you pick healthier foods and you try to exercise more. Wait, you're saying, wait, you're saying being gay, you're born gay? You believe that, you're born gay? Yeah, because I was born not gay. So. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're on a different track than I am. Because I believe, oh, I, I believe, I believe some people, I believe, honestly, I don't believe you're born gay. I don't believe it's science. I just believe it's preference. But that's well, my opinion. Based on what? Based on we can't prove it yet. We haven't been able to prove this. I can prove it very easily. You ready? I can prove what? it. Did you choose to be straight? Yeah. Yeah, I don't you know. chose to be straight. There are some you straight say, guys. What's gay was it? You're sitting around. Wait going, a minute. Yeah, I could be. Yeah. I could be having sex with a guy, but you know, I'm not. I'm gonna just have sex with women. Yeah, that's that's the choice for me. Yo, this guy. I love this guy. Oh my god. When did yeah. you make that choice? When? What day? When I when I looked at girls and went, wow, I love there girls. There you go. You didn't choose it. You but didn't I made a choose choice. it. It was a natural reaction that you had at, at that point when you all of a sudden started to notice girls. Wait, wait, wait. Well, all right. So, okay. Well, let me get back on track because what? I believe that the only thing, <laughs> being gay is one thing. His brother knows he's fucking stupid as shit. This is the, this is the face of a brother who knows that his brother is stupid as shit. I'm sorry. Holy shit. It's your sexual preference. Okay. That's it. I go to the same stores that gay people go to. I eat the same food they do. You know, we all, everything, I mean, there's nothing different from a straight lifestyle to a gay lifestyle other than behind the bedroom door. It's your sexual preference. That's it. That, to me, a sexual preference isn't a lifestyle in my book. I don't think it's a lifestyle. I don't think it should be taught as a lifestyle. I don't think we should refer to it as a lifestyle. It's not a race and it's not a culture. It's well, here's just the problem. who here's you the prefer problem. to sleep with. Here's the problem. Um, healthy, a healthy lifestyle, right? I do everything the same as the healthy people, but their healthy lifestyle is, um, is you know, the only part, the only difference. So it, using your definition, I could throw in healthy lifestyle and say the same things about that. And that truly is a lifestyle. Wait, what does a gay because person do? Wait, what does a gay person do that I don't do? What's a healthy, li what's a healthy lifestyle person do that you don't do? No, no, no. You're, I'm question just for telling you your definition is flawed. But I'm talking about Christianity flawed. stuff a lot. Why? Um, Rivers, just so you know, I grew up in like a wild ass Christian cult, so I do talk about Christianity, uh, like extreme extremist Christianity, relatively frequently. Go to the same stores I do. Their yeah. lifestyles no different. You, you live in Laguna Niguel. Gay people live in Laguna Niguel. Well, yeah, but I go. To oh, the he doxed his brother. He doxed his brother. The store, and I buy food. Healthy lifestyle, people who choose a healthy lifestyle go to the store and buy food. They just happen to buy different food. That's all. Your, right. it's, your definition is flawed. It, a healthy lifestyle is a choice. To, you decide. What's you the definition? Wait, wait. What's the definition of being gay in your book? What do you mean? What's How the do definition? you define gay? Dude, dude, no, no. We're talking lifestyle here. We're talking lifestyle. I'm talking call, you you are, no, 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 You're, not, you're talking witness. about a definition of a lifestyle. <laughs> Okay? When you're talking about a definition of lifestyle, you go to the definition. Let me look at the definition here. It was Calvary Chapel. The way in which a person or group lives. It's a way of great, living. Great. Great. Well, that's just now look Google. at the definition of gay. Look up the definition of gay. It did. It does, yeah, true. Gay is, is well, a, well, wait. Is you're going to use the dictionary. Use it for both. No, but the thing is, is that gay, it, the, we're talking about your question to start this oh, video was, is gay Thanks, a lifestyle? Say hi to your boyfriend. And it's a way in which a person lives. Okay? No. No. Gay people do not. not to gay, it's what they do behind the bedroom door. That's all gay is, Tom. Because I went to that restaurant, I'm gay? No. If I uh, buy this car, am I gay? No. If I do this, I'm gay? No. If I sleep with a man, I'm gay. That's about it. That's the only way you can define it.
Okay, yeah, but it, it, the problem with lifestyle is it's it, based on this definition. This is the Google definition, right? I could go uh, to dictionary. Google. Google. I'm just talking to you. I don't care about Google. Wait, the All habits, I'm saying is... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the habits, attitudes... This is dictionary.com. The habits, attitudes, tastes, moral standards, economic level, etc., that together constitute the mode of living in an individual or group. Okay? So, right. But straights and gays do everything else. I pick up my wife's clothes. I design her outfits for her when we're at the store and we buy stuff. Okay, okay. Doesn't hold make on. Me gay. <clears throat> no. No. But Maybe, I mean, yeah, I, wait, but, what? What? Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. What? What? Can we, can we just rewind that? Uh, hold, hold, hold on a second. But straights and gays do everything else. I pick up my wife's clothes. I design her outfits for her when we're at the store and we buy stuff. Okay, okay, it hold make on. Me gay. <laughs> no, no. But I mean, yeah, I. But but that lifestyle. But to to these habits and attitudes and so forth. Those are things that are personal choice. Those are things that I choose. I I'm choosing all everything there. I choose. Right, and one of the things you choose in your lifestyle is to be gay. But it's not a lifestyle. No, 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 Yes, it's a, no, it's no, a no. segment. You can't Dude. say that people who are gay chose Answer. when people no, no. who were straight didn't choose. He doesn't work that way. Other than the bedroom. Other than the bedroom. No, 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 what no, no, no. You keep, wait, you keep skirting the choice issue. You keep skirting What's that. What's the choice? You're, I'm telling you, there is no choice. You're born a certain way. You're, you were just the same way you and I were born straight. Other people are born gay. They didn't decide someday to go, yeah, you know what? I know it would probably be easier for me to live a straight lifestyle, but I'm just going to choose to live a gay one. Yeah, that'll that'll really make my life fun. You don't think, you don't think some and people easy. have tried and, and then went gay later? And no, You think there's all. something medically uh, in no. them that makes them that way? This, the same way there's something physical in my brain that makes me straight. There's something physical in their brain that makes them gay. That's simple. This is is there something guy. physical in your brain that makes you bald? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what, what an asshole. What a fucking asshole. My brain keeps know. pushing out all the hair. Yeah, exactly. Let me see if that is a hat, Bobbies. <laughs> what? <Let's see>. No way. <laughs> No, it's it's a, it's um it's a it's it's a lifestyles are a choice, and and it's not a choice, so therefore it's not a lifestyle. Right, but a fragment, a segment of a lifestyle does not make the entire thing a lifestyle. It's no, a no, which is a okay. totally different. Well, he doesn't understand. He actually doesn't. Un he can't keep the words straight. A fragment of the lifestyle doesn't make it a lifestyle. He doesn't actually know what he's arguing. He doesn't even know the words he's using here. This guy is not saying it's a lifestyle. He's saying it's not it's a, it's not a choice. This guy has no fucking clue what he's talking about at all. Like he literally can't keep the sentences straight. I agree with that particular statement, which is totally different than the one we started with. That's all. All right, we're just told we're never going to agree on this. What's I can't not wait agree to see on? the comments. I can't wait to see the comments because you think it's a lifestyle and I don't. No, I don't. I didn't say that. Go rewind this. Wait, what? Wait, what? He just did the switcheroo. He, I told you he got confused about what argument he was making. Literally, what? He just did a switcheroo. Good night. Sleep well. You looks like you need some sleep. Video. I yeah, never true, said true, it was true. a lifestyle. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said no. Never mind. Okay. But, all right, so we disagree about the born thing then. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting all flustered. I slapped I slap my bald head too hard. <laughs> you still got okay. your soft baby head? Exactly. So we agree it's not a lifestyle, but you believe they're born that way and I don't. Based all on right. my own personal experience with being born this way. I just happen to be in the majority. I just happen to be in the majority. The whole world could, I mean, you can imagine 90% of the people being gay and 10% being straight. We have a lot of work to do. I mean, we have to have a lot of children to keep the world going. But, but, the, but you can imagine that. And then people would be, since the majority would be looking at us as a minority, Hi, then we would plus. be under the microscope. Welcome, Welcome new animals. And we are just happen to not be. Well, we are as white males. <laughs> we're not the majority anymore. It's completely. 
Good thing. But that's another video. Okay, let's let it go. All right, we're out. Take care. I would love to debate this guy. Jack's debating skills are on par with his cooking skills. Non-existent. Jack is about as intelligent as his viewers. Hetero is a lifestyle. If someone asked me my lifestyle, hetero. What car I want? The hetero one. Which politician you voting for? The pro-hetero one. What food you buying? The hetero food. Okay, put it like this. I love chocolate. When I ate my first chocolate bar, I didn't choose to like it. I enjoyed it because I naturally liked the taste. I could try my hardest to hate chocolate, but I can't because it's my natural way. Same way a gay person just likes guys. They don't choose to like them, they just do. The same way there is nothing in someone's brain that programs... There is something in someone's brain that programs what tastes like. There's nothing in their brain that programs what sex they prefer either. Well, I think they mixed that up a little bit. Wow, there's a special place in hell for people like Jack. Your brother is right, Jack. Unfortunately, Jack isn't very good with debate. Let's all start yelling! Charles is dead on. Being gay is not a choice. You cannot choose which, who you're attracted to. Try it sometime, Jack. Look at a guy and choose to be attracted to him. Won't happen. The only choice is the behavior. You can choose to not eat cake, but that doesn't change the fact that you love the taste of cake. Woo! Woo! True, Hawk! So disappointed. Unsubbing from Jack and subbing to CS Cali fan. -ny. So happy to see you back streaming. Today has been so much fun. I'm convinced Jack Attack is the cooking villain in the Cooking Mama universe. Much communal love. Shane Brain, much communal love to you too. This has indeed been a really fun day. I love this shit. I love this shit. Yeah, we've had fun viewers, too. Yeah, we've had fucking... Everybody's been... The, the chat's been bumping. It's been so good. I don't know. Is this guy... Like, I don't know. There's no There's no link to the channel. Jack, I love you in a non-gay way, but I completely agree with your brother on this. How can someone choose to be gay when they realize they are choosing to be ostracized by the majority of the community, rejected by most religions, and denied equal rights in a relationship such as healthcare? Gays do not choose that. That's like saying fat people choose to be fat. You tried to eat healthy and go low carb, but look at you and your brother has an example. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Holy shit. That's mean. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> If you can just choose to be gay, then choose to be gay. I challenge any straight male to just become gay on the spot. Impossible, right? You can't choose to be gay. You're born that way. Now, let's say you were told that boys are supposed to like girls ever since you were born, and you told yourself you like girls, and then one day you realize you're lying to yourself. You really like boys. You aren't really choosing. You're just realizing your true sexual preference. And yes, you can also be bisexual and like both. In addition, you can think only... You can only like girls until a certain age and then realize you like both boys and girls. Yo, Tristan! Yo, Tristan! God tier! Based Tristan. Based Tristan. Based! People are born asexual. Jack is one of the most astoundingly... Well, that's kind of rude. According to statistics I've read, most the majority of the Earth's population is bisexual. Most people don't admit to it, however. Just saying. True. True. Sorry, that was very loud. Oh, he commented. It's still a matter of opinion. Until there's proof, either way, all we can do is discuss it. See? Wait. This is literally on the list of thought terminating cliches right here. This is one of them. It's, it's just a matter of opinion. Well, that's just your opinion. I'm not confused. What a bastard. Yeah. Dun 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 d
Return of Mama. Thank you, Law Boy. Thank you so very much. Much love to you. Ding. Then you can get on estrogen and want to fuck everyone. That happens a lot. That happens a lot, doesn't it?